Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that, phone that could shake up the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. So far, the rumors have hinted at everything from the death of the notch to the return of Touch ID. This is probably well overdue as good as the iPhone 13 Pro is, it's arguably not a definitive upgrade over its predecessor and overall the iPhone hasn't taken a huge leap forward since the iPhone 11 Pro. iPhone 14 Pro Display One of the biggest upgrades of the iPhone 13 Pro delivered was a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate display thanks to the use of an LTPO panel the screen could go from 120Hz to as little as 10Hz when a fast refresh rate was needed and thus that helped save on bat battery life. According to some rumors the iPhone 14 Pro could build upon this and scale down to as little as 1 hertz reducing the power drain of a display and this could enable the reported use of an always on display long rumor to be an upcoming feature for next gen iphones bloomerang's mark german has claimed the iphone 14 pro will finally get an always on display and it will be used to show weather, calendars, stocks, activities and other data on the lofty screen. With the low with the a low refresh rate helping preserves the battery life. The revamped iOS 16 lock screen previewed by Apple in June seems to set the stage for this feature. In contrast, the standard iPhone 14 models are now tipped to get a 90Hz display which would be an upgrade over the 60Hz of the iPhone 13 but not quite up there with the Pro phones. As for screen sizes, according to Ross Young, the iPhone 14 Pro could increase in size from 6.06 inches to 6.12 inches and the iPhone 14 Pro Max from 6.68 to 6.69 inches. This will apparently be because of rumored similar bezels and new notch design. Don't expect a big change in the number of cameras the iPhone 14 Pro will bring as the Pro phones are tipped to stick with the standard combo of a main ultra wide and telephoto array. Given how Apple phones regularly feature in our best camera phones lineup, that's no bad thing. But one leak has the iPhone 14 Pro tipped to get a 48 megapixel main camera which could finally make a change from the 12 megapixel cameras Apple has used for years. While Cupertino's computational photography is some of the best around having more megapixels to play with would likely give the iPhone 14 Pro more scope when it comes to processing light and details we could be at a time where megapixels matter once more to Apple. But a regular Apple tipster has the standard iPhone 14 models tipped to stick with 12 megapixel cameras, with only the Pro models expected to get a 48 megapixel main camera. No changes have been touted for the ultra wide camera, but we'd surprised if some effort wasn't made to improve the field of view and help remove some edge distortion. And there's a scope for the telephoto camera to get a zoom boost as an Apple patent points toward the company working on a periscope style zoom camera. If such a feature was going to debut in an iPhone, it could be for the iPhone 14 Pro. But to muddy the waters, Apple Oracle Ming Chi Kuo claims the periscope camera won't appear until the iPhone 15 in 2023. The lack of a telephoto upgrade for this year could make the iphone 14 pro a real letdown 
analyst Ming Chi Kuo claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It looks like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens and the addition of autofocus for the first time. Together this should allow the iPhone's selfie, selfie snapper to take brighter photos that are easier to shoot thanks to the autofocus and that will be less prone to distortion. For more see our iPhone 14 cameras roundup for all the biggest remote upgrades.